Hi crew, and this is Captain Chris speaking, and this week we're going to be talking on Hot, on hot Chocolate Chronicles, uh, so be prepared to uh, you know, drink some hot chocolate or your uh, hot beverage of choice here on Locked on Target. And uh, here we're going to be talking about my uh, baby girl as a first time eating food. I mentioned it last week, but lately she just hasn't been uh, wanting to eat the food. She just very much does not like it. I know I say no editing or whatever, but I'm just going to throw in this clip I took of her on my cell phone uh, because it's just adorable. So uh, I'll catch you after the break. Yep. It says stir it to the consistency yeah. you want it, so I don't really know what consistency we want. I think we want it kind of thin. We want a tasty first. consistency because it's for first. <laughs> but anything's going to be tasty. Look at the baby. The baby's like, whoa, what's going on over there, mama? It's amazing. What you doing? Doing. What you doing, mama? Okay, I think this is the consistency I want. What do you think, Deb? I mean, that looks like oatmeal to me. Oh, we need to get a bib. I did discuss this. I'm going to put this out of the reach first. Maybe I'll just use this. It's already here. Here. Well then, we'll be here. Hey, bib. Alright, ready? Alright, baby, go. Can you see the face from there? <laughs> Yuck. What's the word? What you put in my mouth? <laughs> so, as you can see, she did not want that food. I mean, she just doesn't want that food at all. Uh, and uh, she looks cute and adorable uh, in the, you know, while she's doing it, but... Uh, just not not wanting the solid foods yet. Uh, we're gonna try another food. Uh, this the, the day you're watching this, we're going to try vegetables. Uh, I'm recording this on Friday. This is going live on Saturday. So tomorrow we're going to be giving her vegetables instead of the oatmeal. Hopefully she'll like that and uh, you know whatnot. Uh, so today I also want to talk a little bit about. Uh, my personal uh, issues with just, um, well, I'll talk a little bit about saltiness and uh, how, uh, and what I mean by saltiness. So, have you ever met those people online uh, and gaming that are just the worst players and uh, they are always like the ones with the worst mouths on them and have to let everyone know how much you suck and blardy blar I'll do that to X Y and Z and your mom is blah 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 and like they're the worst players ever you know those people I call them salt shakers because they they are made up of salt themselves like that that's all they do they don't do anything but uh, salt uh, but they they spread their salt elsewhere and they they kind of contaminate. Um, or salty, make everything around them too salty. Uh, you know, and we all know them, right? Well, in some ways, I find myself being that person sometimes. Not like the one saying blarty blar, but when someone starts attacking another member of my team on like a Heroes of the Storm, I get kind of defensive for that person. It's ingrained in me to kind of say, hey guys, this is a game, let's move on. But that attitude uh, is, is true still in me. Uh, so I, I've, I get angry sometimes and um, I've had issues with anger in the past. Uh, and um, not like, oh man, I'm abusive or nothing like that. I would never hurt another living being, but uh, I've had to quit games because of my anger. I would just get so angry and so it would affect my real world disposition towards other people. Uh, I would get so angry about certain games. And it's not like what I want to talk about as far as uh, you know me being defeated by these, but how I overcame that anger. Uh, so 
I, I until recently, have just quit these games cold turkey. Uh, Battlefield 2 was one of the games I quit. Uh, you know, um, a few others. Mostly FPS games that are just like, when, when a game is unfair uh, because of server issues or anything like that, that that's, makes me kind of upset. Um, uh, it's so uh, I have been learning to kind of control my anger and my explosions and this is why I'm hoping that if you're one of these salty players that get upset at games uh, and let games affect your real life emotions that you can take some of the concepts that I'm talking about here and apply them to better your experience and better the online experience of others around you so one I cool down and I think to myself this is just a game if I'm not having fun why am I playing then I look examine my motivations alright I want to be challenged we are the underdogs in this fight can you know how epic would it be if we beat this team on a, in uh, Heroes of the Storm four versus five or four people plus a bot and you just imagine to yourself that that person that's driving you up a wall they're not a real person just imagine them as a bot that they've left that you can't speak to them that you can't you know move on uh, and then play you know and look at it as a challenge look at it as an opportunity to show your skill look at it as an opportunity to excel and be like whoa guys at the end of the match whoa I can't believe we clutched that 4v5. Man, those guys are noobs. You know, like, like that is a much more positive outcome. Much more positive way to look at it than, you know, just just unleashing every swear word under the books and, you know, just becoming a negative part of the play style. I mean, uh, this is all coming out of just a few matches I've seen uh, lately in Heroes of the Storm where, you know, the people that are losing the match for you, you know, the, the people that mess up their skills and whatnot, blame the people that are actually playing the game at a higher level. Not me, but I mean like, oh dude, why are you fighting on the objective instead of the team fight? blah dee blah dee blah Well, why are you initiating the team fight uh, in some places? None on the objective. When I say something like that, they get all salty at me, you know, because I go and help with the team fight, knowing that my ally is securing the objective. Hopefully, we can distract them at the team fight, you know, that type of thing. Um, I, I try to think on two levels when I'm thinking, when I'm playing games. Uh, but people just see that, oh my gosh, my team isn't helping me right now. They must all be terrible. It's. There are, there's other players with you, all right? Uh, and you know what? We all mess up. We're all human. Uh, keep that in mind. Uh, you know, every as soon as you open your mouth for ju uh, up against judgment against another player, uh, if you're one of these salty type people, you got to understand that there's always someone who thinks the exact same thing about you going into one of these maps. It's literally a part of every team-based mechanic. You, There's always one person on the team that the rest of the team identifies as the weak link in the team. Unless you're talking like a pro team. But even then, there are people that don't score as well as the other people on the team. And you're like, that's the ringer versus this is their filler you know like not filler in the sense but they don't have another five star or well, five and a half star because everyone's five star <laughs> players uh, and uh in the pro in like um uh the gaming leagues uh so again just just take a moment evaluate why you're here uh and think about what you can do to make this experience more what you want without tearing down or uh, quitting because uh, that's personally that's one of the things that discourages me as a player because I am a uh, never never give up never surrender type person and I will hold the line um, you know that's why my gaming kind of tags the faithful I will literally hold the line 
um, and be the first one in the battle and the last one in the retreat because that is kind of who I am as a person. I will stand up for my brothers and sisters and my friends. I will be, I hate using this term uh, now, but I will be their shield. Not saying that, uh, you know, I'm not your shield or whatever the internet crap is turned into, uh, you know, the, uh, a negative term, but to me, being someone's shield is very, very strenuous. And it, it's, it's one of those things where if I stand up for someone and for something I believe in, that is, in my eyes, an act of virtue. It's, it, it's, it's, it's good. Like it's, it's a virtuous thing to stand up against opposition. Uh, and sometimes, you know, you got to pick your battles, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I just realized that we've gotten this far and I haven't taken a cup, drink of hot chocolate. So shame on me. Oh, that's good. I think it's because we just got back from steak and shake and, uh, it's had a full big milkshake. Like, mm, yeah, there we go. I got the, I got the size now. Uh, so I had a full milkshake, and I'm like, oh, I got to record Captain's Logs today. Oh, darn. So I just literally came from uh, Steak and Shake. By the way, garlic double steak burgers, excellent. Uh, but, yeah, that's that's my kind of let's get to know you. I, I have struggled with anger and outburst of anger in the past. Not saying I'm perfect. Not saying that, oh, man, I'm an angry person. But if you're looking for some ways to, and you're thinking to yourself, I don't want to be that angry person. These are just some of the things that I do that helps me not be angry when I play games now. Uh, or when angry things come up, or things that make me angry. Um, that's, that's just a few of the things. I hope this helped. Uh, and, you know, um, thank you for tuning in. I know this conversation is not necessarily for everyone, but, uh, you know, hopefully this helps someone. So uh, thank you for tuning in. Until we meet again, stay on target. Hey, I just wanted to drop in and say thanks for watching this. And uh, please join in and give me, leave me a comment, like, or uh, subscribe. But, you know, let's just have a conversation here. And uh, thank you again for watching this. And uh, if you like what you see, you know, check out some of my other stuff, uh, some of my other videos and some of my streams and whatnot. So, again... Thank you and uh, have a good day.